Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or CSGO, is a tactical 5 versus 5 multiplayer shooter game in the first-person shooter genre. The game features quite many game modes, but is mainly known for the 5 versus 5 bomb plan scenario, around which the competitive gameplay revolves. Some game modes are more competitive than others, and the most competitive game mode is the so-called um, matchmaking game mode. The game is developed by Valve and Hidden Path Entertainment. The game is in a bit controversial as the two teams battling each other in-game are terrorists and counter-terrorists. Let's look at the game a bit closer and play it a bit. You can see the might be some opening cinematics when you um, launch it the first time and all that. But here we have CSGO. This goes away with time or it goes away by pressing the escape button on your um, keyboard. All right, so currently it shows you the guy here. This is this is your guy who you can modify to look like um, you. I mean, per, if you have personal interest in weapons and everything like that, you can modify this guy and or the weapons he holds. But that's not the point of the game. The point of the game is to um, click click some heads or or to just defeat your opposing force. So you go to play CSGO, which is here. You can also find Looking to Play, which kind of um, shows to your friends that you would like to play now, and you have inventory, then you can watch match and tournaments from this button, and here you have the settings menu should you want to, for example, uh, change mouse sensitivity or anything like that. But now that as we are about to play a little bit, let's go through a bit about the different game modes. We already, already uh, covered some before, um, but um, like from official matchmaking, you can go to practicing with bots, training course, workshop maps, and there's also a community server browser should you not want to play on Valve's official servers. So we're going to cover the official matchmaking here, which has the competitive, as we talk, this is the competitive and scrimmage, scrimmage game mode, where you can choose whatever maps you want to play against other players. And if you would now want to just go to official matchmaking, you would press go. And here you can see my avatar, my nickname, and I haven't played for such a long time. It says that my skill group is uh, expired. Obviously, I was in the highest highest rank. I can now say that because it's expired. So um, that's one way to get into game. So you can find a lot of maps here. Some of them are only for scrimmage purposes that don't affect rank, but some of them, um, you, most of them do. So you can play any map you want. Um, you just select or deselect them from here. And there's a wingman if you want to play together with only one friend. So you play two versus two maps and the, and uh, games, and the maps are smaller versions of their original ones. Also a casual game mode where you go to play like you get the armor bought for free. So this is more of a fun, more casual, no, not so high stakes, no rankings, no nothing like that. If you want to practice shooting, then there's deathmatch. Um, you can choose any gun and just play with it. There's war games, um, like arms race, demolition, flying scoutsmen. So you play with only a certain weapon and all that. Or this is something that you kind of play through, race your way through a selection of CSGO's weapons. The danger zone is more of a battle royale mode. So you aim to be the last one standing or maybe your friend, like the two last people, stand, last team standing. So... We're here today to show you a little bit of the gameplay. Let's go on to the deathmatch. So here we can just choose um, choose a group. There's a diffusal group Sigma, Delta, their hostage group. So let's just take the diffusal group Delta. And when you pr press go, you cannot you, you don't automatically go into the game, but rather um this system is looking for people you can play with. So this might take some time. Okay, actually, we just found a match. So um, we're going to Inferno, which is the name of the map. And here you can see that it gives you all the settings and tells you what's going to happen. All weapons are free, selectable, blah. Win the match by having the highest score when the round, end, round timer ends, so all that. So um, it takes some time to load. It initializes the world. Um, then it gets the other players here as well. So we'll be soon there. This is where you go get coffee or or um, 
something like that. Maybe some snacks. We're in the game. And you can auto select, or you can choose to be this counter terrorist guy, or you can choose to be this terrorist guy. So I'll go with auto select because I don't mind. And now here we are in the game. So you can see there's my crosshair here. Here's my weapon. And with, um, I can no longer buy any other weapons since, um, the timer has expired. But not to worry. We shall move here a bit. And if we meet any enemies, these are my teammates. So it's a team deathmatch kind of thing. Um, I hope we'll, we'll at least find some guy before um, we end the recording. Um, there's one guy, and now we got the guy. So this is just something that you get. A, um, maybe you get a few frags or kills, and then you just respawn. So you don't have to wait. You can constantly keep on moving and shooting and and all that. So it's it's pretty simple and and like pretty hectic at times. Unfortunately, we're not finding a lot of people here, but now we've found one. And now I can um, buy a new weapon if I want, if I want to play with an AK. So I'll just get an AK and I'll just... I'm back in the game, so I don't have to wait for the round to restart or anything like that. Let's see if we can find one more. If they're all my teammates. But first, when you start to play the game, it might be that it's hard to distinguish who's your teammate and who's your enemy. But um, the blue ones are enemies, and the friends are this kind of orange, maybe. Okay. And then again, you just spawn again. And that's the deathmatch of Counter-Strike. And should you want to explore yourself, the other game modes, you're free to do it. Literally, it's free. The game is free. So that's it for today, and see you next time. The Counter-Strike community is one of the older gaming communities and it has remained quite active around the 20 years it has existed. How are the people in the community really depends on who you ask. As the community is older, it means that the player base is slightly older than in more modern games. And it could be said that the community is more mature than some of them out there. People in the community are also very passionate about, about their game. and think that CSGO is the best and the only good competitive game. The professional scene of Counter-Strike is well established and there are many tiers of professionalism. Tier 1 is where the best teams play and compete and Tier 2 is where the up and coming teams rise to the challenge. There is no official tier list but there are a few lists that determine the best teams by their ranking. Depending on the list, the top 15 to 20 teams can be regarded as tier 1 teams. The most notable ranking systems of the best CSGO teams are the HLTV ranking and the ESL ranking. 